MP. <laughs> Mr. Cruz. <laughs> nice to finally meet you, oh, bro. Truly, man. I was about to say the same thing, man. Hey, you right. are a hard guy to get in touch with. I don't know what you're talking about, man. These are my streets out here. Now, I ain't mean it no type of way, man, but uh, <laughs> listen, Mr. Cruz, man, I, I've been wanting to ball at Hammond Park for a long oh, time, man, I mean, so this means the world to look me. Look at it. Look at it, MP. Of course you have. Of course you want a ball here, but you got to prove that you love this game and that you love this beautiful city. And somehow, some way, Shep was able to do that. Shep. Now, look, MP, Shep is a lot of things, not all of which I approve, but Shep has been coming here since he was a kid. Like, look, look at them kids over there playing basketball. Yeah. Shep. He respects Hammond Park, and he knows what it's all about. For sure, for sure. I mean, he and I, we don't see eye to eye, that's all, you know. Oh, whoa, oh, oh, whoa, oh, oh, whoa, oh, whoa, I've noticed. I've noticed. Which is why I think you would appreciate the opportunity to play at this year's Classic. <sighs> Mr. Cruz, man, you have no idea, man. I, like, these people need to know what I'm about out here. Mm-hmm. It's good. Because I've been watching you play, son. And I'm impressed. Which is why I think you should put together a team for this year's Classic. For, mm -hmm. for real? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Don't I, play with me, man. MP, I want you to be a captain. Okay? There's only four every year, so that's a big honor. No, no, I, I know what it means, man. I, Mr. Cruz, this means the world to me, man. Hey, Truly. Hey, you put in the work. You deserve it. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, but I gotta just put a team together or something like that? Yeah. Best of the best play out here. Pick any three people you want. All no right, such man. thing as a ringer. All right, all right. I think I got some people in mind. <laughs> Good. Now get to work. Yes, sir. I think you're going to change a lot of minds around here. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you, Mr. Cruz. Mm -hmm. Bro, what are you doing uh, popcorn, man? What, why would I not make popcorn? Oh, I feel like I'm about to watch a prize fight. Bro, you, you're supposed to be a professional, right? Wait, hold on. <laughs> like, am I the only one that realizes what's actually happening right now? We Maybe. know what's going on. We're winning. Nate White is about to go on and put the nail in Othello's coffin on live Whoa, TV. Oh no, I do not approve of the coffin talk. <sighs> but yes, it is accurate to say that things are going according to Look, plan. Respectfully, Ashley, I do know the difference between a public statement and a private conversation. I don't and, think you do. Well, I don't see any cameras around here right now. Literally. Oh, shut up, shut up, shut up. It's on, it's on. Okay. <laughs> All right, welcome back, everyone, and welcome to the show, Nate White. Nate the Great. Yes, the Daily Horn reporter who just dropped an absolute bombshell mm. of a report on Embattled GM Othella Akpam. Welcome to the show. It is truly my pleasure, Stan. Thank you so much for having me. So you got all right, all right. Just give, give give us a quick summary of what was in the article for those of us who haven't gotten a chance to read it yet. Well, I encourage you to read the article. And if you want all the details, make sure you go to the Daily Horns website. But here's the gist of the story. GM Othello Akman, Akpem, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Akpem. <laughs> I mean, has created a rift in the organization between himself and brand marketing VP Freddie Novak. Now, is going so far as to confess to those in the inner circle that Check this out. He believes that Novak is angling for his job. Drama. Mm. Is, is there any truth to the idea that Freddie Novak would look to move to the basketball side of operations? I know that he and Phil Boyer have worked very closely together, but this is the first time I've heard of this, and I'm fairly plugged in with people oh, in that organization. Gee, that is true. JJ's plugged in. I'm plugged in. Perk, I'm plugged <laughs> in. <laughs> well, JJ, um, you know, I couldn't find a single person who could confirm that. As far as I can tell, I mean, it's, I mean, Maybe it's it's a little bit of what we call a, a paranoid delusion on the part of Opkin. Wow. Nate, that's a serious accusation. Hey, listen, I don't write this stuff. I just report what I find, right? That's why I wouldn't make it lightly. But I've heard from multiple sources inside the organization that Opkin has attempted to undermine Novak in the attempt to, uh, in order to convince team president Phil Boyer to move on from him. I mean, Phil Boyer. Uh, yeah, well, he's basically eliminating the perceived what, yeah, threat of his job. Right, eliminating or? that, to, you know, to the threat of his job. I mean, the paranoia mm. sets in, right? Interesting. Mm. Can, can you go into that a little bit more? How has he undermined him? You want it all. Well, <laughs> uh, my colleague John Luck reported earlier this season that Op can forbid MP from engaging in in any PR initiatives around the city, which, of course, were organized by no other than Mr. Novak himself. He also reportedly ignored the findings of the team's analytics department on a consistent basis, going so far as to tell the organization's proprietary all-in-one stat are complete and utter nonsense. And of course, you got the proposed MP for Shep trade, right. which, I mean, obviously raised, I mean, 
I mean, multiple red flags across the league with all the rival GMs, and, and many of whom view MP, I'm going to say it, as a superior talent. Really? Do you hear that, Perk? Perk, <clears throat> I know you heard it. He said MP's the superior talent. JJ, I don't know what it is with your exception with MP. <laughs> I'm not ready to give up on Shep just yet. But if everything you say is to be true, Nate, it sounds like Othello is GMing to save his job, mm. not the betterment of the team. And that's unacceptable. You can't trust someone who puts themselves before the team like that. Where, where did this idea come from that Freddie Novak was angling for Othello Ockpem's <laughs> job? <laughs> Everybody. <laughs> I'm well, messing up well, all the JJ, time. JJ, I mean, that's a great question. And, I mean, something that continues to confuse the people I've talked to uh, who are actually familiar with the dynamics of the preferred uh, of the situation. I actually. know I'm but, confused. I mean, <laughs> I mean, of course. But, I mean, the best I can tell... Othello preferred Owens, but was overruled by Phil Boyer on draft night. Then, when Phil hired Freddie Novak to help smooth things over, over, over with the fans, Othello convinced himself that Freddie was gunning for his job. That was too much. I, I keep getting hung up on this uh, convinced himself part. What do you mean by that? Uh, I mean, well... It's obvious. Well, I haven't been able to find a single person who thinks Freddie has one iota interest in the job. Right. Okay. Right. He currently doesn't have the background, obviously. And yes, Phil Boyer loves what he brings to the team, but would never hire him to make basketball decisions. I mean, obviously, that's not an area of his expertise. Not even right? close? No. no. Well, listen, if that's all true, then I don't see how Othella can continue to be the GM of this franchise. It's never easy to call for someone's job, and I respect that this is the man's livelihood, right. but you can't GM to save your job. Your responsibility is to the organization. This is the cardinal sin of te team building. We've seen it time and time again mm -hmm. in this league, and it never ends well. Right. When you lose the big picture like that, and that has certainly happened with the proposed MP Shep trade, it's time to move on. Mm. Well, it, hold on, hold on for a second. Mm. Othello's a good man, yeah. a family man, but I have to agree with J.J. here. He's not the right fit for the job anymore. You hear that, Sam? Wow. <laughs> That's Perk agreeing with me. A Perkins-J.J. <laughs> agreement. Yeah. This is a certainly a stunning turn of events. You're welcome. Uh, so <laughs> stunning, in fact, that we actually took to the streets to ask City fans what they think about the current situation. Check this out. MP is one of the finest young men and the greatest basketball talents I've ever had the pleasure of calling a friend. And anyone who would consider trading him needs to get his head screwed on straight. Yeah, I don't want to speak out of turn about what's going on behind the scenes, but as far as MP goes, it would be a tragedy, honestly, to trade him for Shep. And I mean on every level. Organizations disagree on talent and direction all the time. That being said, MP has given everything to this city and is a tremendous talent. So it's difficult for me to see why someone in Othello Ockham's situation would try to move him, especially at such a high cost. There you have it. The city is united behind their rookie MP. As well they should be, Stan, seems the only guy who doesn't believe in MP is this guy, Kendrick Perkins. Y'all ready for this? I actually believe in MP. Oh. But guess what? I just believe in Shep more. But forget all that. Based on everything that we've learned over the past few days, Othello, he has to go. The sooner, the better. Carry on. All right. That nice. couldn't have gone any better. I'd say there's a 90-10 split in favor of MP That's on social. Get it. Yes. yes. Hey, hopefully Phil Boyer feels the same way. Wait, no, wait, 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 wait. Bro, I know you're joking me right now. What? That's your ringtone? What's wrong with La Cucaracha? That's that is your ringtone. Yes! Wow. Hey, how about picking it up already? <laughs> okay. Jeez. Hello? Speaking? Yeah, he's right here with me. Sure. Sure, he'll be right there. Yo, do we have any more popcorn? Bro, I know we get finished. Bro, who was that? What? I'm hungry. That was, uh... That was Phil Boyer's office. He said he wants to see you right away. It, did he say anything else? Just that it was urgent. That's interesting. Okay. 
Is that bad? I don't know. How did Phil sound? Well, it was his receptionist, and she sounded how she always sounded. You know, polite, courteous. But you should probably get over there and see what he yeah, wants. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll get over yeah. there. Yeah. Hey, no matter what happens, we're going to get through this, okay? We're going to get through it together. Y'all hot. Yeah. Like no, hey, hot. No. rip off this Band-Aid. All right. There's no time for dawdling. Go. All right, all right, all right. I'll see you guys in a bit, all right? Here we go. I heard you met Kenny Cruz. That guy's my hero. What a baller. Okay, so you finally met the great Kenny Cruz. How did it go? Well, um... Oh, my God. He gave me an invite, and I'm one of this year's classic captains. Ooh! Yeah! <laughs> Let's go! Let's yes! get it! Come on. How <laughs> dare you? Oh, I'm so proud of you, oh, MP. I am pumped right now. Yo, 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 who you gonna run with, though? Oh, I already got a squad, bro. I just gotta say when. He's been recruiting <laughs> for a while now. <laughs> Man, I got some dogs. I got Hero Cole and KG. Okay, yes. that's what I'm talking yes. about. Yes, I love it. it. This look is at you be two. Oh, I'm texting them right now, man. Yo, you know what nice. I can't wait for? To see the look on Shep's face when you walk in with that crew? Man, I've been picturing <laughs> that woman for a long oh, time no. now. A long, this long time. This is your city, babe. And you know what? Indeed. The final boss is Hammond right. Park. Yo, 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 my pointer, you, you found it. Yeah, it was under the couch cushions. Oh, Along with some loose change and a couple of chocolate covered there. pretzels, which. You know what, could we all be a little neater with food around here? Someone left a cinnamon roll on the counter yesterday and it was covered with ants. That's Ricky. I don't do carbs. Okay, okay, I'm, I'm sorry about that, I was stress eating. Wait, why are you stressed, bro? Look, everyone's got their struggles in people. Look, I don't need you worried about me at all. I just need you to stay focused on the classic, right? Don't worry about me, man, <laughs> okay, I got this. That's what I'm talking about. Huh. Put the cinnamon rolls away. Uh, 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 uh. Ooh. <laughs> MP, Phil's expecting you. He's in Othello's office. Othello's office? What's, what's going on? I'm not privy to that. <laughs> You're not privy? Not privy. Okay, well, I just... I'll just go up then. I think that would be best. Uh, where... What's going to happen? Let's find out. On the next episode, now I'm just playing. <laughs> I'm just playing with y'all like that. <laughs> Have a seat. All right, here we go. Our top story today is the sudden or not so sudden departure of embattled GM Othella Akpem, who has decided to mutually part ways with the organization due to a disagreement over the future direction of the franchise. JJ, right move? 100%. When political maneuvering leads you to try to get rid of a bright young star like MP, I I'm sorry. You've lost the thread. Yeah, yeah. Kendrick. Can't say I disagree, Stan. And you and JJ both know I'm a huge Shep fan. Like, that's my guy. Yeah, we know that. But with everything we learn about Othello Ackman over Ock the last... Ock Ock Y'all know I always mess it up. Over the last week or so, they had no choice but to move on. You mean to carry on? JJ, ho, 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 ho. Get your own catchphrase. Man, I can't believe we did it, man. It's Look crazy. At that. It's crazy. It's it's kind of like I know what I'm doing, huh? <laughs> Congratulations, <laughs> MP. I'm proud of you. Thank you, Ash. I mean, on the one hand, a man lost his job. <sighs> but on the other hand, Othella is out of here. Let's go. See you, loser. The tribe has spoken. Ding dong, the witch is dead. Woo! Bro, you have some really old references. <laughs> what? What is that? Citizen Kane? Citizen? No. That is Wizard of Oz. That's a classic. If you're 100 years old. Mm, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Follow the yellow brick road slaps. All right, all right. Saying. Enough about Ricky's old references. Let's ride this high, man. What comes next? Talk to me. Talk what to me. What comes next is we follow the path that we charted for you before all of this yeah. even started. Yes. Support for Othello's ouster is nearly unanimous, but you still have a lot of inroads to make converting those Shep fans. Yeah. He's got deep history here. Like I said, man, like, what I went through with Othello, like, Shep is nothing but an ant to that. Ooh, ooh, okay. Good. You know what? You keep following this plan. Mm -hmm. And soon we'll put a magnifying glass to him. You feel I'll me? Tell you what? I tell you what. <laughs> <laughs> All right, but you're still gonna have to answer questions about this after your next game. So. Ash, what I went through with Othello, I feel like I can do anything right now. That's because you can. 
I'm proud of you. I'm proud of me too. <laughs> you standing beside me, looking all beautiful. Oh, okay, all right, <laughs> reel it in. All right, you have work to do right now. All right, that's putting it nicely, man. What? Gross. You'd tell me if you knew you were getting traded, right? Alright, we're back. I have not played this in a while. So you know we gotta arrive in some style. Why is my meter on? It does this every time I hop on again. Every time I exit 2K is always they always resetting my stuff. So I be saying 2K count chart days, man. Ain't no way y'all got me out here like this. So I'm going to try layups with the stick. I'm trying to abuse Pro Touch. We're going to see how that journey go. But, hey, we're going to work with it. We're going to see. We're going to have to abuse Pro Touch. We're just going to have to. It just feels like the only way. That's the only way to go. First time against, wait, I'm about to say first time against LeBron. Where is Bron? Bron is injured. I forgot Bron is injured. This is crazy. Well, we're more than a few games this should be an easy dub. Oh, they got Pat Bev guarding me. This should be an easy dub. No Bron Bron. They need Bron. But if Westbrook playing like Prime Westbrook and AD playing like Prime AD, they got a chance. Judgment for now, an NBA career is a marathon. Y'all better not back. Now here's Davis. Y'all better not backdoor Pat Bear for their first play. Yeah, he got hit with a chicken strip. He thought it was sweet. I told you, ball don't lie. I sure did. Ball don't lie. And guys, so many great players coming out of Canada. A nation. Not just watching foul. basketball, but to playing it as well. And Grant, you think back to those early Raptors jerseys with the big dinosaur. They admit. Hey, we got to knock these free throws down, knock them down efficiently. Older, older hockey fans, they went after the younger generation, and now they're all grown up and packing the seats. Here's Toscano, right now averaging five and a half a game. Beverly outside. Hey, he trying to post up AD vicious. Shot clock at six. Davis and Davis slams it home. I love the patience, Beverly. I mean, he does have spicy P on him, so I cannot be mad. Siakam in the post. Davis on him. Count that. I gotta go at AD. I gotta go at the shot block. Unwilling to give up on the play. And that streaking racket. Wait till I get posterized. You're getting put on a body bag, AD. On that drive. Love the attack mentality in a close game. Pass to Davis. And I already know he's gonna make it. Hey, D bear, chill out before you get hurt, bro. <laughs> hey, D about to get hurt jumping around these fans and stuff. At all. Now here's MP. We saw him go on a scoring rampage last game. He was unstoppable. Hey, hey, let's put some boys in the post. MP's got six. You know, I get to work. Today, Othella so serving up. What, what am I serving in the kitchen? Shot some, but not me. After the social, it used to be collard greens last year. I thought they'd have to let him go. You just hope this doesn't hurt the team too much. I'm serving. Wait, forward. it's almost Raptors Thanksgiving time. That post Thanksgiving game. stuffing. Siakam with a screen on Walker. MP with it. And Davis picks him up defensively. Stolen. That should not be my turnover. It touched his hand. To the inside. 
Here's Westbrook. That's in there. Bro, he's literally going to just bully Fred Van Vliet the whole game. The like, and you know Coach loves seeing his offense operate at this level. Great passing. You know we got to get a little step back at you. Reliable he is night in and night out. His offense is... I averaged 53 points in the league. Possession here. The Raptors this is wild. The shot. Oh, there's the alley. Here comes Toronto on the push. Total. Oh, got a piece of it. And the basket. Why not? It works, huh? Man, Van Bleed plays with heart. Whatever floats the boat. Dude. The Lakers have got six of eight shots to go. Davis with a screen on Van Bleed. Pass to Toscano. Here's Davis. Banks in the layup. But there's nothing and spicy Ram, P can do. His efficiency has been a big factor in helping them capture this lead. Outside Barnes. Ah, you miss me, Fred. I you Walker miss me. against MP. Siakam with a screen on Walker. And here's MP. Give him eight. Shot clock at five. The Raptors need to get off a shot. Siakam against Davis. Pass to Walker. And here's Ilya Soba. Here's Davis. Mm, that back door was lovely. Back in the day, big man would carry your offense. Times have changed. But 80s, one who can still do it. Now here's MP. And there's the lob. Ooh. <laughs> Hey. Go to Ube, rise up. Go back at him, Spicy P. Do not let AD get the best of D. Work him out, Spicy P. You know I'm a double. I'm going to help my guy out. Yeah, I gotta fix my shooting bag. I feel like I got too many Hall of Fames. I should not have volume shooter Hall of Fame. I, don't, I just I don't like it. Hey, hey, come here, come here. Can you climb the ladder and go upstairs? Bless this man, cause I know he is scared. Control of his level of activity, it allows you to impact the game even hey. if the shot is a fall. Beverly against MP, no good with a fallback jumper. Good shot, gone bad. I gotta finish there. Here's Westbrook, and Westbrook slams it home. He's such a is Fred scared of Westbrook? Westbrook he literally just really said, Nah, you go. Hey, anything you can do, I can do better. Good defense. No good on the triple. The Raptors have gone three for seven here in the second quarter. Oh, you know you need a step back. You know you need one. And you going to get one. Because Big Mama always told me never play with your food. The kick out to Walker. Here's MP. Hey, you know we live in that mid-range. I can shoot the three, but that's not in my game. Honestly, I don't have badges. Like, I got to get my badges back around, like, shooting. 
I just have like a lot of Hall of Fame back. And that's not good for me to shoot one way. If I want to shoot every possible way. Yeah, this Kendrick man, I cannot give him more space because he will shoot him with no hesitation. Oh, that's too much space, AD. <laughs> Hand down, man down. Oh, great defense. We're out here, here. They'll continue to improve. AD, may I have this dance? outside. Pass to Porter. Damn, them boys doubling, doubling. Oh, the ball movement is immaculate. And there's the foul. God. Golly, we did all that. That was good ball moving, bro. That's crazy. We out here looking like the Spurs just to hit a slight move. Yeah, I better give AD the ball. I just wanted to step you back. <laughs> I had a dunk, but I just went to step back. I just wanted to step back. Oh, no, give me that. See, now I know Agent 3 is crazy. It's like stopping. Fires from the line. Rebounded by Trent. Toronto is going. You come to the game not locked in. What are you doing? That was a good move. I'm not even mad. He's still so. Everything worked except for the outcome. You want him to shoot that every time. Here's hey. Come here. And this kind of six slam is just one of the reasons this team is in charge of this game right now, PA. You know, there's an edge the way they play and a confidence they're not afraid to show. And so it's Toronto with a nine point cushion. That one falls. There's no way he made it. Westbrook's got 13. And you see the team first mentality of Anthony Davis wanting to involve his teammates. Hey, come here. I'll pull you back. I'll pull you around. Because you know I'm a drain from down. Man. And they have not let up this entire night. And at this point, I wouldn't expect them to. Freebies makes a huge difference. Hey, them boys is living out the post. MP's got eight rebounds in the game. This is your best defender. And he drops this is your best defender. MP's got 46. Getting buckets at a critical time. Just give him the ball and let him go to work. That was another look at our yes, in DBA. About a decade ago, about a quarter of a team's games were part of a back-to-back. -back. Now it's only about 15%. That's a change everyone likes. Players, coaches, and broadcasters. That Man, they gotta stop. Parked it down low that time. Got hit with the That's what ball. you get. Cause he was hey, he supposed down to the court, them lead up. I ain't gonna oh. memory in this league or you won't last long. My God, good God almighty. Here's MP. Barnes with a screen on Beverly. Good God almighty. And yep, that's gonna be a flagrant one. Unnecessary contact. That Bev is a hack. And he fouled out. With a more severe call. Well, he better be on his best. And he fouled out. Forward. One more flagrant of any kind, and he's out of this game. The Lakers making he a out. Here. Walker's checked in. He's covered by Siakam. 13 feet out. Four on the clock. Davis can't hit. Toronto's gone 0 for 3 here in the fourth. Barnes with a screen on Walker. 
On the wing, oh, MP. Keep going there. They want to double. Oh, what are y'all doubling for? Barnes. Speed and power on display from Barnes on that dunk. Los Angeles has gone two of three from beyond the arc here in the fourth. Here's Ilya Silva. Misses off the right iron. They've shown this game is over. Inside. There's no way they're coming down. It's been Especially. With a screen on look, Walker. there's no way they're coming back after I do this. Here's MP. And he was after I get to the line. <laughs> Two free throws. Hey, AD got foul out, too. Davis. Free throw good, MP. AD Recently got five fouls. I got to keep attacking put together. But it hasn't always been an automatic recipe for success. I just missed that free throw. Well, yeah, a lot of times you see those super teams on paper. It's all about execution on the floor. And the biggest factor that sometimes hampers super teams is health. There are high school refs better than you guys. Way better. Lead against Westbrook. Pass to Ilya Sova. Kept alive. Davis. That's good. I mean, AD tire, but he got a hoop. Have to take care of the defensive boards better than that. Reason why? Lack of focus, hey. lack of communication, which led to second chance points. Gotta love how they've just maintained their intensity, even when they're this far up. They don't want to leave no chance for a comeback. Just focus on playing the right way. It seems like every miss ends up in his hands. He's been unreal. And we have to give him props. It's rare these days to see someone dominate the glass so single-handedly. MP with it. Hey. Soba. Oh, and AD fouled out too. Throws for him coming up. And so he's picked up his final foul. And he'll sit the rest of Teams will make substitutions. AD fouled out too. To the interactions between fans and the players. Smitty, sometimes it feels more chippy than in years past. I totally agree, BA. And I think what happens is fan interaction is getting way out of hand. They have to understand it's just the game. It's getting too personal. And he was camped in the lane. Mike, what is that? It's Go ahead and take call. me out. Go ahead. Look at it, rubbing the hands together like on Birdman, because I knew they, I got to put some respect. Look at that, 112 to 191, 112 to 91, I'm about to say 191, I got to stay in school. Pat Bev and AD fouled out in the same game, all because of me, that's what's so great. Nikki, what's going on? <laughs> How are you? Good to see you. So I've got a few questions for you about the classic. <laughs> I don't know that's what you want to talk about. Well, what's your status? Are you playing? Oh, yeah. The classic is something that definitely excites me. I mean, just the history of it, how many great players have gone there and, you know, continue to hoop at their highest level, things like that. Have you have had a chance to connect with Kenny Cruz? Yeah, yeah, I've actually had the honor to, yeah. You know, wow. you can't hoop at Hammond without his say-so. And it was so important for me to do things the right way, to respect the tradition. So yeah, we had a nice conversation. He's a cool dude. I bet. <laughs> so, what are your thoughts on going up against Shep Owens? I mean, he was the captain of last year's championship team. You know, Nicole, um, since the first day I got to this city, everyone has been telling me that this is Shep's city. And I took that personally. 
So slowly but surely, I've been making it mine. I got the hip hop heads on my side, the fashionistas, the entrepreneurs, and obviously in the basketball fans as well, NBA, anyway. But Hammond Park, that's like, that's like the last thing between me and total domination. That's Shep's home court, and the only way to topple a bully is to take him down on his home court. So who are you running with? Ooh, foo, 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 foo. I, uh, I got some heavy hitters on my squad, but uh, you're going to have to wait the showtime to find out. Oh, all right. Fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for your time, MP. I'm so looking forward to seeing you at the Classic. For sure. What's up, everybody? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's start my man Nate Dog right here. Any thoughts on the departure of Othella Akpem? You know, John, I... I'm only worried about the people inside these walls. So if Othella's not here anymore, then we'll move forward with whoever we have and continue towards our goals to bring in a championship to this city. All right. Thanks, MP. Yeah, yeah. Nate, you got anything, man? Chilling? Let me ask you this. Do you feel responsible for Othello's departure? <laughs> I mean, obviously, I hear what people say. How could you not? But all I ever wanted to do was play in the city and give the fans winning basketball. It's unfortunate that my presence played a role in Othello leaving, but I can't focus on that. I've got to focus on my team and doing what needs to be done for us to reach our goals. Nothing more, nothing less. So you weren't hoping for his departure then? No. You know, Nate, I, I always hoped that he would come around, but things just didn't work out in that way. I personally believe that people learn, grow, and better themselves. That's my whole point in life, at least. So Opkin needs to better himself. Absolutely. I mean, I, I think with time, he'll understand that he should have done things a little bit differently here. You can call that whatever you want, but that's what I'm saying. OK, thank you. OK, uh, I think that's enough for today, guys. What do you think? Thank you. All right, cool. Uh, I think I'm done. You guys have a good night. You know what I'm saying, though? Oh How you God. feeling about that classic, baby? Mm -hmm. Looking forward to it, bro. <laughs> the streets were saying they miss me. Yeah. But you're not worried about MP? I mean, I heard he got some hoopers on his squad. Man, I don't care who okay. he got. We got me. Mm, that's why yes. I like to hear, baby. Man, this belt ain't going nowhere. Mm -hmm. At home right there, baby. Matter of uh. fact, uh, them green jerseys y'all be wearing, right? You think you hook me up one? They're kind of tight. Those are for the wins of the classic, bro. So, no, I don't think I can hook you up with them. <laughs> yeah, come on, bro. You know I can win the classic. <laughs> Why don't you ever ask me to hoop? You always be hooping, though. No, don't ever ask. Bro. What? Come on, man. You know I was an all-star. <laughs> Sixth grade church league, you remember? I was going oh, crazy. Uh, bro. Look, all I'm saying is, somebody get hurt. You know what I mean? Just sub me in. No just, way. <laughs> my crossover mean, bro. <clears throat> you know what I'm saying? I'll keep that in mind. Yeah, I know you got me. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> I know. I man, you know you can't hoop. Ship, he's funny like a like a clown. You like clowns, right? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna just uh, yeah. Why don't you focus on the answer for you, but the media, mm -hmm. correct. Oh my Lord Jesus, Jesus. Now that's crazy. Not that any of the points 
Oh, look at this. Oh, one man to beat. It's a race to the pylon. Ooh. I'll get it right back every time. Do your dance, do your dance. Hey. <laughs> I said I wanted to break a long run and I did, I finally did. <laughs> 